Things are kind of tumultuous right now in, in uh, Washington, D.C., as you <laughs> might expect. Uh, people ask me, how is it? And uh, you know, I, I report to them that, of course, you know, it's not always what you see on Fox News and CNN. Um, I'm on the Armed Services Committee. There is a great deal of work that gets done in Washington, D.C. on a bipartisan basis. But right now, uh, there are significant issues that are dividing the country and including the issues that go directly to the challenges that we have, both economically and the challenges that we have that go to the issue of national security for our country. Now, almost every economist will tell you that there are two structural issues that the United States has to address. The first being our budget deficit and the second being our trade deficit. And regardless of, of how we look at temporarily moving the economy forward or temporarily trying to, to jumpstart this economy, those structural issues are things that we're going to have to address. And I do believe that over the next year or two, we're going to see that those issues are going to dominate uh, the discussion in Washington, D.C. And I think they're going to dominate the discussions that we have really throughout the country. Um, and those are going to be issues that are not going to be easy to, to, uh, to address. If you look at the budget deficit, the only thing that's really been done over the past year and a half on the issue of the budget deficit is it, it, to increase it. We're going to have to get to a situation where we stop producing red ink, uh, where we tighten our belts, uh, where we uh, lessen the amount of spending, and it's going to take a structural shift. We're going to have to look into our existing programs, ways that we can find reductions and savings, and ways that we can move this economy forward, which also assists in the budget because we have additional revenue whenever we have people who are actually producing and going to work and making a difference in, in the economy. On the trade deficit, that is an issue that we look to at our own local community to see the effects. Uh, the businesses that have closed, the factories that have closed, the manufacturing production that has closed, uh, those are all areas where we cannot say that these are industries of the past because they exist. We're just buying them from somebody else. Uh, we're going to have to take a look at how we can recapture uh, an economic base that can be sustainable and how we can look to the issue of reducing the trade deficit because we cannot continue to both have red ink being generated out of Washington and red ink being generated by money that's leaving our shores uh, for goods and services that we're purchasing instead of the wealth creating uh, model that we've had uh, in, for the United States in the past.